Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Nerd Couch. I have no idea what we're doing. I also have no idea what we're doing. It's been uh, it's been a few weeks actually. Holiday stuff. What? You mean two weeks? Yeah, that's a few. No, a few means at least three. A couple would be two. Fine. Okay. It's been a couple of weeks. You happy? Yes. Okay, good. I'm happy when things are correct. Holiday stuff ensued and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, this is like life day. Technically, the day after New Year's Day. Is it? Yeah, it's after midnight. <sighs> it's like by eight minutes. I mean, it's it makes a difference. I mean, weren't we already here? No, we weren't in the fall one, were we? Yeah, I, I don't think I've done fall yet. I actually we did I, spring and summer, right? Like, I don't know like, if I even finished summer. I think I might no, have we died. No, we, we didn't finish summer. Like, I know that for a fact. Oh. I don't give a fuck what you think, Mr. Beaver Man. But he's getting cold. So? And he wishes he was inside. Fuck that shit. He's got fur. I... <laughs> wow. I don't have fur. I need a blanket <laughs> if I'm cold. It's true. So I guess we'll go back to summer since I didn't finish stuff there. Oh well, yeah, there's 104 days of summer vacation. And school comes along just to end it. Oh. Is that a song? Or yeah. So the yeah. annual problem for our generation is finding a good way to spend it. What fucking song is that? Like maybe building a rocket or fighting a mummy or climbing up the Eiffel Tower. Discovering something that doesn't exist, or giving a monkey a shower. Phineas and Ferb. Never seen it. Really? Yeah. It's pretty good. It ended. The problem with Phineas and Ferb, though, is that, uh. It was the same shit. Oh. Like, it was pretty fresh for a while, and then it. kinda became a problem with its formula. Hmm. Like. Basically, the plot is Phineas and Ferb make an outlandish, like, contraption, and their sister tries to, uh, always tell their mom about it so that they, they'd get in trouble. Little bitch. And whenever she does, like, something relevant to the story would always come snatch it away, so she's all like, Mom, Mom, see, look! And then it's gone by the time... She could actually see. And it's like every episode, so it's kind of like... Alright, it's running its course a little bit. Yeah. Hmm. But, it, like, there's still, like... It was a good show for when it was fresh. Then it got boring. <laughs> I mean, that happens to a lot of the good things, though. It, it's not necessarily, like... Like Adventure Time? I haven't seen Adventure Time recently to have any input of that, mm. but I mean, I really, really liked it when it first came out. Yeah, but I think it's interesting that the voice actor is literally growing up <coughs> with the character, and I think that'll probably be weirder as he gets older. It well, also really depends on like how long they keep it around for and stuff. Eh, I don't know. I mean, I forgot to start the timer. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean. Uh, like it used to. It started off as a very random show, and then, you know, you found out like actual like they like started to actually do story shit, and it's like yeah, I want more story stuff. And then it was like yeah, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna give you more random episodes. It's like oh, mm. now we're gonna do story. Yeah, that's two episodes of story. That's kind of dumb. Like, why would they do it that way? I don't know. Like, I basically have the have the mindset of you either end like Gravity Falls or you live long enough to see yourself become Adventure Time. Uh, I mean, Adventure Time. It was is, good while it lasted. It, it's. Probably gonna make a comeback and be good again. Mm, I, don't I don't. I don't see it ending up like. Dare I say it, SpongeBob? <laughs> well, 
Well, I mean, SpongeBob was basically like it didn't need to have story because yeah. it was your it was what '90s cartoons were all about. But now it has story. No, it doesn't. Yep, and Squidward hates himself even more than he ever has. Yeah, but it doesn't have story. Eh. It's still as episodic as ever. Nothing's canon within itself. There is no SpongeBob lore. The closest you get to the lore <laughs> is that uh, he works at the Krusty Krab. Well, and he's there for life. I mean... And a couple other, like, minuscule things. Yeah, but that's not even... that. Is that re can you really count that as canon? It's not a re it's not referenced at all. Nothing's ever referenced. Uh, his grandma. I mean, like that's that's really grasping for straws, and I'll admit that faster than anything. Yeah, that's just a, that's not a plot element. That's just a character. <laughs> However, like everything she does is never <clears throat> referenced. But there's still no, like, actual Spongebob canon. Like, it's not like they actually reference past episodes, I mean. I'm really surprised that they never have, though. Because they easily could. Because they never referenced uh, Spongebob, the first movie. When that was technically supposed to be the end of the sh series. Yeah. Because then, like... Once you learn that it's supposed to be the end of the series, a lot of thing, a lot more things make sense. Because it's like, yeah. well, I mean, spoiler alert: at the end of the movie, he gets to manage his own Krusty Krab restaurant. That was like, I mean, it was that was never said in the show, but you can at least understand that it's like a dream of his, right? Because it's Krusty Krab related. related. It's just crazy to think about, like, all the cartoons we grew up on and how oh, yes. some of them ended great and how some of them just didn't end. I mean, Spongebob is the last Nickelodeon cartoon of the 90s. Yeah. It's also weird to think about how it's still alive and thriving. Not as big as it used to be. It'll never be as big as it used to be. Like Pokemon. No, that's not even a joke. Yeah, I know it's not. When it came out, that was a national fucking phenomenon. Yeah. Like, it's popular, but... But you're not seeing parents breaking into fights for shit that they don't even know what it is. Like, my mom literally had to fight somebody for well, a Pokedex. Not even that. Just, like, all of the fucking media attention it got. Fucking branding everywhere. Like... Pokemon cereal, Pokemon Pop Tarts, Pokemon SpaghettiOs. Oh my god! Like, if I've, it was if I've it was a product, had, I've had all of those. Yeah, same here. If it was a product, po they, they Pokemon had its name on it. My favorite though was uh, definitely the KFC plushies. They were actually like really good quality, considering. Remember the uh, the uh, Burger King Pokeballs? They yes, gave you like the I have gold. all of them. Uh, I, I still to... have all of them. I don't know what happened to mine. Which, uh... When we upload this episode, I should post a picture... On our page... Of all of my fucking golden Pokeballs. Yeah, because you know those are going to be worth money. They're not. I know. <laughs> I actually, uh, somebody asked me, they're like... Holy shit, you actually have all those? How much are those worth? And I was like, I don't know, I looked them up. It's only like <coughs> 12 or $16 a pop, which, mind you, that's more than we paid for them. Yeah. But. <laughs> you know what makes me laugh? When people think Charizard is worth money. Charizard uh, card. There's, there's like so many stipulations to that thing being worth money. Yep. Like, let's see, it has to be first edition, it has to be uh, Shadowless, yep. which was that set within a set. And um, most people don't even to, know what that is. It has to not be touched by human hands. Basically. Um, it's got to be graded like 10.0 on the scale of... Uh, on a certain grading scale. Because there's more than one mm -hmm. trading card uh, grading scale. Kind of like uh, the original uh, Machamp. If that's still in the foil, that's worth money. If it's yeah. not bent. But it's just like, it's funny. Because fucking... 
Like, even then, even then, your Charizard's only going to be worth, like, $1,000 max. Yeah. While you get a card from Magic the Gathering, the Black Lotus... Even if yeah. even in shitty condition, like, like that's going to be two thousand dollars in yeah. shitty condition. But like, if you have it like in mint condition, it's like ten grand. Yeah, it's definitely uh, definitely one of the craziest things. Though the most valuable card in the world is a Pokemon card. Yeah, but it's not really a Pokemon. It's like it's it's a misprint. No. Are it's you sure? Misprint. Yeah, it's um, it's a tournament prize. Ah, uh, because I know why. there's I know there's misprint cards that are actually worth a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely that nice. are actually like worth thousands of dollars. Um, it's um, it's a card that has real gold in it. There's four or six in existence, um, and it's a Japanese card. Literally, all the card says is, "Congratulations, you are the champion." It is technically playable in the game, but it doesn't do anything. <laughs> uh, and most of them are actually in American hands. Because there was American people at the tournament, obviously, and the yeah. little Japanese kids that won were just like, Oh, look at this, I got... And they were offered, like, a couple thousand dollars, and they are just like, fucking, like... What? Yeah, you can have it. Give me the money. <laughs> well, yeah, a couple thousand dollars. I mean, you can buy all the Pokemon card you can, packs. You can buy every pack at your store once. And it would be the greatest feeling for <coughs> that day. You could buy a bunch of Charizards. But but then think about like the pain when you grow up and you find out that that's one of the most expensive cards in the fucking world. And there's, like I said, only like four or six of them. Well, yeah, I mean, um, story time, this has happened to a, fr uh, this happened to a friend of a friend, um, when Magic was still in, like, it's, uh, like, what was its third set, just third edition or whatever it was called? I think it was called third edition. Um, my friend's friend had all of the Power Nine. Oh, no. And his mom actually sold all of his cards behind his back. Because she's like, yeah, magic is, uh, like, making him do bad in school. So, she sold all of them for $500. Oh my god, no. And, I mean, back then, that was probably a lot, because no one thought those cards were probably going to be worth a lot of yeah. money. But still, all of the Power 9, you'd be rolling in the money. Yes. Especially now. Yeah. You would literally, like... And then the kicker was that he still did poorly in school. <laughs> of course. Kind of like how my parents were completely against me playing video games. Well, my, my mom was. I, have I talked about this on the channel? I'm not sure on the channel. I don't know. <laughs> my mom was completely against me playing video games, and now I'm working on building a YouTube channel about gaming. <laughs> that could technically, potentially, someday actually earn me some money. Enough yeah, we'll to make get, a sandwich. We'll, like, get, we'll, we'll get there when we get there, champ. Someday. <laughs> someday, one day. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe one day. <laughs> it's just it's just funny to look it back and be like, you were so against this, and now, like, there's literally countless people that have livelihoods because of gaming or even just YouTube in general like that's it's literally crazy if you would have told me when YouTube first came out all the way when back I saw at double it. rainbow for the first time that like people would be making money off that shit Man, I would have laughed in your face YouTube is 11 years old yeah and it's not going anywhere anytime soon either it's no just, no it isn't it's crazy to think about well, I mean like yeah, it's not going anywhere because it because one Google owns it. Yep. I mean the only the only failure that Google has is fucking Google Plus. I'm not even gonna talk about Google Plus. 
Man, people were hyping it up to be the, like the next, like the the Facebook killer because it was all like, <laughs> yeah. In order to be in it, you have to be like invited and shit. Yeah. And, like all secretive, and it was like I was invited into it, and I was just like, okay. It was passed around like a common whore. Like, let's be real. <laughs> um, I I want to like I'm gonna name drop here. It's not like I know him personally, but it's still funny. I think Harley Mornstein said it the best. The, y you know who he is, right? No. Okay, the main face of Epic Meal Time, the guy that has the crazy beard. Oh, that's yes. Harley. And the YouTube show that I don't care about. He's really funny. It's not even what they do that really makes it for me. It's just the fact that it's goddamn hilarious. But he, like, anytime he talks about stuff, you know, like this video, share us on Facebook, go like us on Facebook. Blah, 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 blah. Or circle jerk with us on Google. <laughs> it's like... Seriously? Yeah, they did it, do it's the circles. Such, such a bad joke. And... It's just... It's mind-numbing to think that... They thought it was gonna go anywhere. And... They, like... Do they even talk about it any... Oh, fuck. Do they even talk about it anymore? What, Google Plus? Yeah. Not really. Like, they really, like, hype the crap out of that, too, and they wouldn't shut up about it. Probably shouldn't be, uh, going <coughs> too far into this, huh? What? I mean, like, because Google owns YouTube, and, like, maybe so? someday so? they'll find this video. What, are they going like, you know to flag <laughs> this video? No, that's not what Google's about. <laughs> like, seriously, that's not what Google's about. No, I'm just... <laughs> They're not going to do shit. If anything, they'd promote it and they'd be like, look at these assholes. I mean, uh, that's that's really the only, like, like it, Google Plus is like the virtual boy of, uh, <laughs> of, 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 of Google. No, just of Google, not of the internet. There's so much work more worse of the internet. But I mean, you have, as bad as it was, it did function and do its job. Yeah. So. It's just, Facebook was a lot around, around longer. It's going to be near impossible to kill off Facebook. Yeah. How did Facebook get so big, though? Um, it's kind of weird, because it's just like, you know, MySpace was so big, and then kind of just. Tom sold MySpace. I think that's all it boils down to. Yeah, but he sold MySpace, like, after the whole big Facebook thing. Like, when after everyone migrated to Facebook. God, he sold, uh... He sold that for so much money. Yeah, he did. And I still love, uh... And then, like, uh... The post on Facebook where somebody is just like, like yeah, how would you know? And he's like, well, yeah, it's well, like I, something I never about work another day in my life. Yeah, how does it feel to be that... like a? How does it feel to be like a major sellout and have Facebook like ruin your company? And he's like, I don't know. I, I, it feels pretty good not having to work <laughs> work a day in my life. Yeah. I. But it's just kind of weird that, you know, MySpace just kind of really fizzled out pretty quickly. It's still around. Yeah, but it's, it's not It's not a social media. Bands, it's yeah. not a social media website anymore. Technically it is, but like I just said, it, it's for bands now. It has, like, nothing to it's, do with just regular people interacting. Yeah, it's not really a social media website. <clears throat> I thought there was another reason to be up here. I don't know. crazy. Hmm. Well. But it's just weird how, like, some internet things kind of just die off. And, like, things that you'd never expect to catch on do. Mm hmm. Like, I'm. Honestly, I'm really surprised Vine's around. Like, it, it's basically just dumbed down videos for a lot of it. Yeah. Mind but... you, there is definitely some very talented creators out there. I mean. I, uh, maybe that's the point because your videos can only be six seconds. Yeah. That people are like, well, time to actually like, time to be creative. And yeah, you do get some creative shit.
And, like, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, well, you know, that's so much easier than YouTube. Because it's really not. It's just a completely different aspect entirely. Don't go in there, man. <laughs> Don't go it almost, it almost looked like you were... It almost looked like you were oh, just getting in there. Right. I mean, I, I could... Sneak right in there and just... No, I said don't go in there. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you? I have a hard time listening to you sometimes. Well then, I guess I'm just not going to talk then. Well, that, that would make the show very boring. I mean, like, what would it be? Me just talking about how much I love Banjo Kazooie? People don't want to fucking hear that. They already have to hear it at least once an episode. At least once an episode. You're seriously not gonna talk now? Don't you fucking shrug at me. People can't see that shit. <laughs> uh. Well, I fucking love Banjo Kazooie. It's a good game. Uh. Eerie's grown up. And I think we're gonna cut it here. And by we, I mean me. Because apparently this is, uh. This is my nerd couch now. And you can't shake your head no. They, they can't see that. This is my nerd couch now and I'm ending this episode. So I will catch you guys in the next episode. And maybe he'll be here. We'll see. Catch you guys later. If anything, it'd be the nerd chair. <laughs> you have to leave that in now. And the part where I just said you have to leave that in now. Nope.